in today's Sunday Spotlight. If you are looking for some inspiration in this new year, something to help you stick to those resolutions, look no further than U.S. Marine Tim Donnelly and those who offered him a second chance at doing what he loves, performing. For Tim Donnelly, every new year, every new day, is one he never thought he would see. Yes. Four years ago, just days after his 20th birthday, the young Marine was on his first deployment to Afghanistan. We were doing um, a dismounted patrol through the village and uh, the IED was buried in the wall right next to me. A bomb that would take both legs and seriously damage his right arm. For a gifted singer who loved to play the guitar, the injuries were almost too much to bear. Two and a half, three months after I got hurt, I, I couldn't even listen to music at all. Um, it just, it, it was too hard. It would take a very special team to help him find himself, his voice again. Hey, teacher, leave the kids alone. the musical band of wounded warriors. Music Corps is the brainchild of Arthur Bloom, a Juilliard trained classical pianist. I was invited to Walter Reed to meet a soldier who was injured in Iraq. Uh, he used to play drums. He was blown up by a roadside bomb and he lost his leg and he was concerned, how am I gonna play the drums again without my leg? As the fledgling program grew, it gained the attention of some true rock stars, like Roger Waters, formerly of Pink Floyd. I don't treat them like wounded guys. I treat them like musicians. They've worked and worked and worked, these guys. And that is why they're so good. Good is an understatement. They are magnificent. I'm only Tim, Waters and the band bringing the house down at a Stand Up For Heroes concert just nine months after Tim's devastating injury. I've got a wide, a wide river to cross. One of the things about Tim is that you see his injuries are so severe, but they're irrelevant when he's singing. Since then, the band has played sold out concert halls as Music Corps hopes to help even more of the wounded, including those with invisible wounds. Now we work with about 50 a year. Um, and Walter Reed is still full of very injured uh, patients. For Tim, happiness now reaches far beyond the stage. Six months ago, balancing on prosthetic limbs, he married Kelly Fiddler at a seaside wedding. I'm enjoying being married. It's, it's great. When people let me know that I, you know, help them understand a little bit more about, you know, all these guys and, and what they go through, it doesn't get any better than that. Shine on.